Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to continue working on the respiratory system project. We have begun with the lungs in our previous video. And in that video, we have created this shape out of cubes. We applied lattice and we tried to bring the organic looking shape for our lungs. All right. Now on this, we have applied these two modifiers, subdivision surface and lattice, obviously. Now, before we are going to move to the next step, we need to make sure that how to apply these modifiers. So, always we need to apply subdivision modifier first to keep the lattice. Otherwise, the whatever changes you have made with the lattice, it won't remain exactly the same. Okay, There might be a little bit of changes. So it's make sure that you know you are always applying subdivision surface first, then lattice, and then we are going to move to the next step. And the next step is actually going to be sculpting. So we are going to understand a little bit about sculpting also. That by sculpting, how can we you know add details to the mesh? Let's go back to layout for the time being. And uh, in the subdivision surface, I wanted to show you something. One second. Yeah. So in the subdivision uh, surface modifier, if I go to the wireframe view, so I can see the mesh count. Okay, it is very minimum right now. We can see, we can count the uh, faces if we want to. But actually, that is not the case. If I turn off this optimal display, it actually shows me the real face count. Okay, because obviously we know the subdivision surface modifier adds detail, adds smoothness to the mesh only because by increasing its face and overall vertex and edge count. All right, so here we can see that the um, the mesh is like much heavier compared to this side. Okay, it's not actually this. Once we'll apply, definitely face count will look like this. All right. Now this is actually good. We wanted the um, face count a bit on higher side to work better in sculpting because uh, for sculpting we really need a heavy and dense mesh so that we can you know really uh, you know mold it or modify it as if we are working with a real clay. If I had a mesh with this much poly count. So when I try to make some changes here, let's say for example on this particular uh, area, it will only affect these two faces or this particular edge. So I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say. All right. So if let's say if I'll zoom in one second, if I zoom in like this and if I try to add some detail only on this much portion, I really cannot because it is a single face. So it will it try to affect is this singular face only. So this much portion will get affected. And if I want to try to add some tiny details that cannot be seen here because the mesh count is very low. So always a good rule that, you know, whenever we are trying to use sculpting, so the mesh count should be on higher side. Now this mesh count uh, is of level two, I mean, it's good, but I'm going to increase its level to one more. Yeah. So I think I'm going to keep this um, density of the mesh. All right. So optimal display. If you turn off, then really you can see the mesh count. And I want it like this only. So I'm going to apply the modifier now. This is good enough. And after this lattice, same I'm going to do on uh, this other lung apply oops one second i forgot to increase the level so it's three apply and apply all right so this is done we can see that lungs are very much dense in terms of poly count which is good we want it like that and let's do one more thing let's join these two lungs for the time being so that we can work on both of them at once. All right. So this is how we have got the meshes, very heavy, dense mesh. Okay. With the lots of faces, this is how we want it. And let's do one more thing. These are two separate lungs right now. Let's join them and make them one so that in the sculpting, we can make the changes on both at same time. 
So, it is very simple to make the two or multiple objects one, it is that you need to select multiple objects and into the object menu, you can simply use this option join or control J shortcut. So, now you can see that it is a singular mesh and for our convenience, let us do one more thing. We try to bring its gizmo to the center and that is also very simple. All we need to go is we need to go to the edit mode and I am going to press A to select all and let us try to move the mesh around over here. Mm. All right. And if I exit the edit mode and So, it is pretty much at the center okay, which is fine and that is good to go for the time being. Now, let us select this, we will go to the sculpting and for some reason it is showing colors, I do not know why. This is okay, this is okay, all right. So, we can see that you know the changes are happening on both the sides which is we want it. Let us undo all of this and let us understand the tools one by one and then we will try to make the changes. Yeah. So, we are in the sculpting mode, okay, on the sculpting tab. Now, you can see the toolbar, it is way too much. Tools are available here in the sculpting mode. And so, this is the first one is the standard default draw tool. By this, you will draw on your mesh. All right. So, if I orbit around it, you can see that it is actually adding some geometry or some volume on the mesh. Control Z. With each tool, let us understand about these two options. Radius, radius is the radius of this brush. If I increase it, my brush size will increase. Similarly, if I decrease the value, brush size will become small. It has standard strength set at 0 0.5. You can increase it to make the more bold impression. Let us increase the radius. See, and if I undo this and if I keep the strength to very minimum, even though radius is large, see, it is not making, it is actually making but very tiny change. A tiny bulge is over here. All right. So, this is what we need to uh, keep in our mind while we are uh, using any of the brush. So, let us set the strength back to 0 0.5 radius. Let us keep 100 for the time being. All right. Now, whenever we have taken or chosen any of these tool, same properties or same parameters we find here as well on the right hand side. So, radius, uh, radius unit strength. Now, the one important thing which I wanted to uh, introduce you to is the subtract. Okay. So, add direction, sorry, direction, add or subtract. So, add simply means that, that whenever we are going to apply this particular tool, it is going to add the volume. Right now, if we see the bulge is on outward size. If I change it to subtract and if I try to use the tool, you can see that the bulge is inside now. All right, that means the direction has changed. It is like sort of removing the um, volume. Okay, so this also we can make by changing the direction with using the same tool only. All right, you can do the same from here also. Change the direction. All right, so we have understood the options or the features of the particular tool. Now let's understand about the tool itself. So, draw basically is a very simple tool by which we can add a normal volume we want. Then we have this clay tool. So, it will kind of give a look that as if we are adding clay to the mesh. So, for this I mean you need to understand a bit about the sculpting of course, because see whenever we are trying to sculpt anything using clay. So, I mean these kind of tools are in use. So, if I want to add some more volume to my object, I add more clay to my sculpture. All right. So, that is how this, this tool is you know giving us same result as if we are adding more clay to our mesh 
to you know add more details then we have this thumb tool by this it will you know make some pinches or you know as if we are making the change on the mesh uh, by our thumb so i mean you really need to explore all the tools over here so what let's do one thing the tools which i am going to uh, use i will show you those tools you can see and you can understand okay how to use those and maybe uh, uh, you can explore all of them one by one to understand what a tool exactly does because you can see the lot there are lots of tool it will take a lot of time we don't want to understand all the things at once let's understand it step by step and few tools we are going to explore we are going to use and we understand about that we have this inflate tool so if i select it and if i try to lift it up you can see it is sort of going to inflate okay maybe strength i need to increase more so there you go so why we are in the sculpting mode so if i look at this lungs mesh all right it is looking like a really smooth model all right actually any organic uh, model or any organic uh, you know organ if we talk about the real organs uh, they don't have this sort of very smooth finish to it all right so even if the lung is made up of flesh it has some you know some sort of texture to it on the surface okay not i'm not not talking about its look its color and everything but the surface itself has some sort of texture so it is definitely not this much smooth so that change we are try to get through the sculpting so let's use some clay tool to it okay the strength is too much so i am going to reduce the strength for the time being and maybe radius a bit i am going to increase so i am sort of trying to you know break this uh, very smooth pattern to it i am trying to make it a bit uneven make sure that you know you don't affect the geometry much let's do the same over so you can see now the pattern is breaking earlier it was looking very smooth we want to break that then this is flatten scrape no pinch let's use this elastic deform and let's see what it does all right so this is very good tool and with this strength is obviously too much so a tiny bit of changes all right i think by this we can get a better result but still the strength is way too much hmm so you can see now now the surface is looking a bit uneven and this sort of giving it a organic mesh look this i need to smoothen out a bit so i am using this flatten tool if at any place you see that you know the there are too much details so maybe you can smooth that surface out by using the flat tool and on this okay so there is definitely lot of things i need to do uh, this thing all right so i added some clay over here you can see the difference and with the flatten tool so this side is okay but on this side let's use the clay strips again maybe radius all right let's leave it here for the time being because we just wanted to deform the smoothness and to me as of now this is looking good and maybe if it is required we can add the details texture details later so let's go back to layout okay so this is how lungs are looking if i check the wireframe to see the topology okay so it's 
distorted a bit but that is how we are trying to add detail to it so this is how i mean you can you know create some texture on the surface and you can change its look so i hope you understood about this thank you so much for watching